Hi, welcome to Bear Clooney Watches channel. I am Bear Clooney, Bear who loves and knows watches. Bear with the unparalleled sense of humor. Bear with the genuine charisma. Bear with very intriguing charm. Bear with a strong East European accent that's truly bothering some douchebags. Anyway, by the way, this here is not a mustache. This here is Bear's laziness to shave and taking advantage of my day off, which is utilized to make content for my viewers. Love you all. To this video is response. Uh, I had few questions from my viewers. I had few questions uh, on my Facebook group Horology Talk. And it is well known, uh, intriguing uh, concept of what is the best watch around that famous 1000 US dollar mark. You know, uh, I personally always recommend to look into Seiko watches for under thousand dollars. Especially, uh, I'm a big fan of Presage line. But when it comes to thousand mark and a little bit above, there are two watches that I can uh, definitely recommend. And I can tell you, I own them both, so I'll present them in Bear Clooney's watch studio. So when I'm making this recommendation, I'm not making it based on what I heard or based on what I think. It is based on what I know and what I have experienced. So I assure you that my recommendation on two best watches at the thousand dollar, around thousand dollar US dollar uh, price range is confirmed. You can take it to the bank. So let's go to the Bear Clooney's watch studio and I will show you and talk about those two watches which are my recommendation. Let's go. Here we are at the Bear Clooney watch studio where I want to share with you really uh, those recommendations that I have for the best choices in the price range around thousand US dollars. Um, I would say that these two watches, one is the Swiss made, the other one is German made, are truly the best choices in my humble opinion. So what we have here is the Oris uh, 1965 with its uh, <clears throat> wonderful heritage uh, DNA in it. Um, this is, a, uh, this is a ETA based movement. So one of the main differences when it comes to their movements, uh, one is the ETA modified by Oris, and here we have a Salida modified by Zin. They both do fantastic job on uh, improving overall their, um, their movements and ensuring the quality, precision, dependability of these movements. When it comes to the Zin 104, uh, it's actually displayed and I think they did a beautiful job on it uh, where you can actually as a watch geek uh, enjoy the uh, display displayed movement of, of this of this watch. Uh, here I'll try to capture the best the best I can. Now <clears throat> why am I saying that I think these are these are the truly, uh, best choices when it comes to the price range of about 1,000 US dollars. For the simple reason, it is uh, good quality pieces, uh, dependable pieces coming from uh, reputable proven companies with good service uh, um, abilities. Uh, watches that are relatively easy to maintain even by not going to the original supplier. Uh, dealing with the uh, talented watchmakers. Uh, the parts are not too difficult to get. Aesthetically, they're truly beautiful. They are water resistant, both of them. 
Uh, this is obviously skin diver. This is the this is the watch that is done as a diver. And uh, even though the Zin 104 is a pilot watch, therefore we have a countdown bezel. It is 200 meters water resistant. So there you go. This is your perfect everyday watch with all the abilities necessary to necessary to truly enjoy it as a classic professional piece which is also aesthetically very pleasing now how will you decide between these two i think when it comes between these two it is ultimately um, aesthetics what appeals to you more uh, some people are not huge fans of uh, zin hands um, <clears throat> some people don't like for um, patina on the Oris. I mean, it comes down to your taste, but quality-wise and um, w overall, um, the, the aesthetics of these two watches, in my opinion, are excellent. Otherwise, they would be not part of my collection. Most of you know that I have many more expensive pieces, but I find... Uh, these two watches are very satisfying and I love to wear them. Let me show you uh, how their wrist presence is. When it comes to this Oris, I love its size. Um, it's, it's, I think this is 40 millimeter. Yeah, it is. It's so nice and thin on my wrist of 7.25 inches. It sits so nicely. Legibility is beautiful. Um, date is done in a very tasteful way. And it has this um, vintage charm. So for those who have a love for the vintage divers, uh, this is certainly a great choice. Um, and when it comes to Zin, I have it, by the way, on a bracelet from for this watch. I got a bracelet after the fact. This is how strap looked originally. It is high quality strap. You can see it's very thick. It's a good quality leather. Germans never uh, short make shortcomings when it comes to watchmaking. Uh, they always hit above the price level. And uh, they did not disappoint on this piece either. When it comes to German watches, I'm not a big uh, fan of the aesthetics. But this is not your typical German aesthetics. This is just such a classical look of the watch. Uh, and uh, yeah, this one also has a day date, uh, while this is just a date. Um, so I think uh, when it comes to both pieces, they have uh, unique uh, differences, but overall they're two great choices for everyday entry-level watch. You want to start in this hobby, you want to experience something that's a good horology, something that has a um, background that has a history. I always say stay away from the micro brands. Focus on something that has a history, that has a background, that has a serviceability. And these two companies are, are highly respected. They are definitely uh, producing watches of, of, the, of the highest quality. Uh, so even the watch snobs such as my friend Brian or Archie or whatever, uh, they, they are not going to, to shit over these choices. They are basically going to say these are solid, good quality products uh, that, that you can enjoy, dependable, accurate, uh, attractive. And uh, this is why Bear Clooney is making these two watches uh, his recommendation for the best choice when it comes to thousand US dollars price range. Now it can vary as a used piece, as a brand new piece, but this is the range. This is really where it is. So my friends, you who are not in a financial position to go for Rolex, uh, Omega, or even higher getting into Patex and so on, enjoy the hobby, get one of these pieces, learn as much as you can about them, do some research on the net, and uh, choose between Oris 1965 or Zin 104, and you will have a great watch on your wrist. Oh yes, I owe you, I owe you 
wrist uh, presence of the Zin 104, which is tremendous. Again, my wrist is 7.25 inches. I think this is a beautiful watch. Sits so nicely on the wrist. And uh, it's so well done, so well balanced. I love this uh, pilot piece. Pilot piece with a 200 meter water resistance. Are you kidding me? That's fantastic. Swiss and German choice. Now, I always say, if you're going to go under $1,000, I would always recommend Seiko. Uh, Presage line has some fantastic choices. Uh, I might do a video on that as well. Uh, thank you. I uh, go back now to Bear's Cave. I hope I helped those who are searching for their first entry-level high-quality watch. I'm sure there are other recommendations that are as valid as mine, so please don't hesitate to put those recommendations in comments below. If you like this uh, recommendation and if you think I did a decent job, don't forget to click on like. Also, reminder, please don't forget to subscribe, as Bear Clooney has committed to do a watch giveaway at the point when this channel hits 10,000 subscribers. At the end, as usually, all the best to all of you.